Welcome to Storyboarding for more effective presentations. A presentation created by Ken Roberts, Director of Market Research at SmartDraw. In this screencast, we'll see how flowcharting can save you a lot of time and ensure the best presentation flow. In our Working Smarter series on creating effective presentations, we cover many ways to make your presentations more effective by fixing your slides. That is, replacing text and bullets with effective business graphics created in SmartDraw. In the article on screencast planning for effective presentations, we show you how planning with mind maps lets you clarify your goals, messages and strategy and sets you up for presentation success. One more planning step will help you make an effective presentation and save time creating your slides. Storyboarding your presentation with a flowchart lets you perfect your storyline and the flow of your presentation before creating any slides. Flowcharting lets you think about building your argument or storyline at the outline level. You can see how it flows and get a feel for where you may be spending too much time or not enough. Thinking out the presentation in a flowchart gives you that forest through the trees view that is more effective than jumping straight into creating slides in a program like PowerPoint. As with mind mapping, flowcharting should be about capturing and organising your ideas, not about drawing. To start my storyboard, I'll begin a new flowchart in SmartDraw. I'll choose the blank flowchart smart template under the flowcharts category. The smart template loads the starting drawing space in our smart panel. As with all smart draw diagrams, the smart panel contains the commands and symbol libraries you'll need to make a drawing of a specific type. In our case, we have the build a flowchart smart panel. As we work out our storyline, we'll start with a simple, straight, topic-by-topic -topic storyboard from left to right. Since we followed the process outlined in Planning for Effective Presentations, we know our goals, messages and agenda for our presentation. In this example, we're planning a sales meeting presentation. For my storyboard, I don't need the start symbol. I'll just use the process symbol, which is a rectangle and which is the easiest one to use for storyboarding. Insert my first topic that I want to cover in my presentation, the introduction. Now with SmartDraw, I have a couple of ways to keep building out my flowchart. I can use the Smart panel, select the symbol that I'm going to use next. And in my case, I'm flowing left to right, so I'll use the Add Right button. Again, SmartDraw aligns the new shape and draws the connector arrow to the new box. After the introduction, we'll give the statement of need, as we understand it, as the vendor, to set up our proposed solution. The other way we can continue our diagram in SmartDraw is simply with a keyboard. This really comes in handy when we're using a flowchart for storyboarding, where we can think through our ideas and play around with our ideas without having to do any drawing. Simply use the control arrow keys to add My Next Box. Next, we want to talk about our proposed solution. After that, we'll get into the business topics of pricing and ROI. Again, I'm not using the mouse, clicking, drawing. I'm simply using the keyboard. Next, we want to review the technical details. Talk about implementation, how that's going to work. And then we'll have a Q&A at the end. That's it for my storyboard. Again, just by tabbing and using the control arrow keys, I can think through the set of slides or topics that I want to talk about in the order I want to talk about them. One of the great things about SmartDraw is that now that I've taken a first crack at this, I can simply think about it. And if I need to add a topic or rearrange topics, SmartDraw makes this really simple. For instance, if I want to talk about implementation before reviewing the technical details, I simply grab this shape, change its order, SmartDraw redraws, realigns, and reconnects all the objects. Similarly, I can put it back. If I missed a step in here, say between pricing and ROI, I can simply take another box and click and insert it. If I don't want it, I can delete it. And again, SmartDraw reconnects my objects. It makes it really simple to not think about the drawing and rather think about my planning. Again, the main benefit here is that I can think through the sequence of slides and topics that I'm going to talk about without getting into my slide creation program and starting to design slides, then realising that the flow isn't correct and rearranging items and objects between slides. It's much easier to flowchart it out, get it all straight, and creating the presentation is a much simpler process.
and using the flowchart format, I have the ability to add different details, such as supporting ideas below each topic. For instance, under Statement of Need, I know that I'm going to need a network diagram. Again, I can use the control arrow keys to add a box below or take it away. Or I can come back to the Smart panel and choose Add Below. Make a note to myself. Under my proposed solution, I have two alternatives that I'll propose to the client. So, alternative 1 and alternative 2. So you can see this is a process where you can get the outline flow going and you can go back and add in details and this might trigger some other thoughts where you might again want to rearrange the order of topics or add a new topic in between, split a topic. All this is much easier to do if you're working in a storyboard than in the presentation or slide production program. Here's a more fleshed out version of the same presentation. I've added some of the details I need to either think about or create. In fact, with this flowchart, using different styles and colours, I can highlight items and use this for a little bit of task or project management as well. For instance, if I know I need to create network diagrams and these charts, I can come and fill them in with a different colour. Colour code them again as a reminder that these things need to be created. Now eventually I'll map these boxes into slides, creating the slides. But for now I'm organising my thoughts into the effective flow. Visually I can get ideas and where there's more to cover, I can see where ideas may be covered twice, etc. All this is with the goal of making a good storyline that follows a logical flow. And the main point is to work through the revisions to the storyline and the visuals and the text without creating detailed slides until you have the flow optimised. To save even more time creating slides, you could take the storyboard one step further. Start with the main storyline as above, and in our details that we've attached below, we can start designing the actual slides. Add boxes below each slide with elements like the headline, the visuals, the text. In other words, lay out all the slides and the elements that'll be on them in your storyboard. And that way, if you're creating the slides yourself, you'll have that as a guide. Or if you're passing slide creation on to another person, it really becomes a specification for what the slide should be. So, what are some storyline tips? Here again, match your message to the audience and match your slides and storyline to your message and your goals. For instance, is everyone there to hear your final recommendation of a study? Then you should start with the recommendation and present the evidence. Don't make the audience sit impatiently while you drag them through methodology and data gathering before getting to your recommendation. On the other hand, if there's likely to be someone hostile in the audience or the whole audience, you can build your case issue by issue, but again, provide intermediate conclusions along the way such that the audience has a feeling of the flow and doesn't get impatient. In either case, the least effective thing to do is keep the audience's suspense with a lot of preamble and supporting facts and making them wait for your recommendation or conclusion. Informing and persuading are the goals of any presentation. Using flowchart storyboards and other business graphics you create in SmartDraw to both plan your presentation and create your presentation, you'll be more informative and more persuasive and thus a more effective presenter.